Hello, my name is Helen Neary and I'm the course leader for A-Level Psychology at Chichester College and this is the Taster webinar for A-Level Psychology. I am a team of two, I work beside alongside Tanya who um, also teaches A-Level Psychology. We usually offer four year one classes in A-Level Psychology and then again either three or four year two classes. Our class sizes are quite large as well, 20 plus in every class for A-level psychology. We're a popular subject. I'm now going to take you through some of the key points you need to know while considering whether A-level psychology is right for you. One thing to jot down now is that the specification we offer at Chichester College is called the EDUCAS specification. So it is a really good spec. We really like it because of the content that it introduces students to. Um, I need you to note that it's EDUCAS because sometimes there can be a bit of confusion with Welsh board because EDUCAS is the specifications thought in England whereas we've got Welsh WJC are taught to the Welsh students living in Wales. You can find the specification quite easily by visiting the EDUCAS website, clicking on the tab qualifications and then typing in psychology and you will find the spec. Just to make that something that is quite familiar, I've just included a, a picture of what the front of the specification looks like. I encourage you to have a quick read through that document, download it to your device so that you can refer to it at other points in the year, just so you can really think through what is expected from you if you choose A-level psychology. I've also included on this first slide my full name, Tanya's full name and our email addresses. You can have them too if you want to ask any further specific questions about psychology. I would say at this point the specification is the go to document and it will give you a lot of information that you need. OK, I'll move on to the next slide. So just to be very clear, I'm sure you would know this already because it's the same no matter what A-level in psychology you do, all psychology A-level specs are 100% exam based. So in other words, there's no coursework anymore. Um, and actually we've got three quite hefty exams at the end of year two and they're each two hours, 15 minutes long. Now that information isn't vital for you right now, but it is something to take on board that there is quite a content heavy um, requirement in psychology where you have a lot to put to memory. Now, of course, our students manage that, but it's do you like exams or at least are comfortable with exams because that's how you're going to be assessed in psychology. The other thing to note is that in psychology A level, you will still have to undertake some numeracy work, statistical work, um, and that is always a minimum of 10% across the exam. So again, that's something to just think about. How do you feel about maths, GCSE maths, and the fact that you'll be taking that to a new level in A-level psychology? The key to A-level psychology is thinking skills. We talk a lot about higher level thinking skills and the need to be able to critique, analyse deeply many different complex topics. And the other area that I think students are um, keen to develop their skill on is the fact that you could be faced with a new situation on an exam and you need to be applying existing knowledge from your spec to that novel scenario. So application skills are a key skill that we will develop across A-level psychology. I would say that is core to all A-levels really. OK, what is psychology? Now, hopefully again, you might have some insight to this, but it's certainly not what you see on TV. <laughs> psychology is deemed a scientific subject, and it certainly is if you study it at a degree level at university. And here's just a very succinct, very short definition. Psychology is the scientific study of the human mind and behaviour. 
as I said, it's classed as a science. And we're very different to sociology in this respect. Sociology would be more seen as a social science. And while psychology is seen as a social science, it's kind of seen as more biological. There's more reference to the experimental method in psychology. So that ability to have a scientifically inquiry mind is core. So that might give you some insight to what psychology is, but I need to make it clear with you all. Psychology is not going to be a self-discovery subject. It is not about us looking at some very topical um, subjects that are sort of important in, 20, in, in this time. It is more academic. It is us looking back at the famous research, the world changing theories that could be at this point 50, 70 years old. It certainly isn't going to be a mind reading course either. Students wonder if they'll be able to analyse other people and interpret their friends' behaviour. And I very much say, no, that's not what A-level psychology is about. A-level psychology is about giving you a deep insight into the academic literature and research that tries to explain the human form. This course is not going to help you give advice to others. And I would also say, say stay well clear of doing that too. So it is very much a scientific A level. OK. A bit more about what actually do we do? So one of our first units that we start very much at the first week of the academic year is the biological approach. So here again, we've got reference to mainly a scientific area. We will try and explain human behaviour using biological explanations. And we'll look at some very famous research that has done that and the use of drug therapy as a treatment for um, psychological conditions. We will also do four other approaches in the first year. And we do the psychodynamic approach. You may have heard of Sigmund Freud. He was the founder of the psychodynamic approach and had a very different way and view of human behavior. And he looked at the fact that we possess an unconscious mind and that the unconscious mind drives our behavior. So you can see that we've got the biological school of thought saying it's been biological factors such as chemicals in the body or evolution or brain parts and then we've got freud saying actually it's through the unconscious mind um, and other factors the role of childhood that shapes you for adulthood so we have these contrasting views that we need to take on board we'll do three other approaches to the behaviorists who believe everything's learnt about you the cognitive approach who believes everything's about the way you think um, and the positive approach, which actually says we know enough about what causes us certain behaviours. Let's focus more about what makes the human species thrive. I would say a good thing to do is after this webinar, do some research into all five of those areas to gain some insight. The second component we do in the first year is the research methods that investigate in behaviour. Some of this will be familiar to GCSE science, like the experimental method. You may have come across correlational studies and this is where our number work comes in. We do conduct two personal investigations as well and we look at some other very famous studies, um, Milgram, the electric shock study and Kohlberg, moral development in children. So that is the content of year two, one, which is important to, to you have a grasp of now. What helps you do well in A-level psychology? Well, it's really important that you do like to read because there is a lot of reading involved to help you formulate academic knowledge. There's a willing to accept that your thinking will be challenged. Your personal opinions will not really be what you end up writing in essays. You will need to be academically informed. That there's a willing to accept that there's no one correct way of explaining human behavior, that we need to look at these very opposing ideas and use what we can for the very specific situation we are looking at. You need to be comfortable and confident with writing essays. We obviously develop that skill a lot within the A-level subject, but it's something to have a good foundation in now, as it is to have a good foundation in maths as well. Nothing particularly high level, but just a good natural level of confidence there. So as I said, I would encourage you to do some more research into what psychology is. It's a big decision to decide what A-levels are right for you. So look online. I would say psychology websites, not Wikipedia, to explain those five approaches. Make notes and then keep those notes handy, but have a discussion with someone you live with around it. 
if you really want to, you can get in touch with myself or Tanya if there's something very confusing, but we would hopefully address those in future sessions too. Some reading around the subject. Again, psychology is normally brand new to the majority of our A-level students. So again, once you have got some free time, look online. There's some great A-level websites. I've listed some here, Simply Psychology, S School, Tutor to You. You could get your hands on some psychology books. These are not A-level psychology books, but they're very well written by a cognitive psychologist and they're really good at explaining simply evolution, the role it's had on us. I personally recommend the book, Why Your Parents Are Driving You Up the Wall and What to Do About It. Very interesting read for explaining from a biological point of view and evolutionary point of view why we are the way we are as adults. So I'm encouraging you to do reading around this subject as well, because I think that's really important to help you with making the decision to study A-level psychology. I hope this webinar has been helpful to give you some insight into what you'll be studying.